Hi Libra, this is Aqua Goddess. I hope that you guys are having a beautiful day today. I'm here to give you a general energy reading. Keep in mind that this reading will be for past, present, future, and it may or may not resonate with you. If you are interested in booking a private reading with me, if you would like to donate to the channel, purchase any artwork or manifestation jewelry, all of the information will be in our description box below. For anyone new to the channel, welcome and thank you for being here. Be sure to join the family. I would love to have you. Be sure to hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified for your future readings. And for you all that are returning, welcome back family. Thank you so much for your love and support. Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors, guides most high. Please protect me, my collective, and our families as I channel the messages for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Please return any negative energy back to sender, 20 million fold, and anyone out there showing me love. Much love and light to you. So Libra, I'm seeing the friends with benefits situation. I do feel like there's a lot of chemistry. You guys may spend a lot of time together, but I don't feel like it is something that you guys have made official at this time. A lot of passion here. But where is this situation going, Spirit? Some of you guys are dealing with the water sign. <clears throat> and it's like this person loves your energy. They love connecting with you. But they may come off as non-committal. I'm also feeling like this person is kind of vanilla. So you may be a lot more experienced um, than this individual. Especially when it comes to sex. I feel like this person is kind of gentle with you and you may be an aggressor in this situation. You could want something more. You may not want to be in a friends with benefits situation. And some of you guys don't want to make love like you want something more aggressive and dominating. <laughs> Some y'all funny. Some of y'all want something more abusive. So you could want this person to, you know, just dominate you more. Um, this person may come off as a bit gentle for you. I do have a concern here, okay? Um, so my concern is that, first of all, I don't even feel like, I don't know if you're completely pleased uh, when it comes to sex. And also, this person could have a dark side when it comes to abuse. They may try to do something like choke you or do something to try to com control you. But I'm saying unsafe. So I feel the closer that you get with this individual, the more they're going to come out their shell and the more possessive they'll be over you, Libra. Um, this could be a situation where you may be dealing with a, if you're a feminine, you could be dealing with a younger masculine. And if you're masculine, you're dealing with an older feminine. Or this could be a situation where even if you are the feminine energy, um, you may be dealing with a water sign that comes off more as feminine, even if they're masculine, than you, Libra. Um, so take it how it may resonate. What is coming towards Libra? Could be a Cancer. Also, I'm seeing... Um, Somebody is secretly hiding some type of OnlyFans uh, thing. 
And I'm also seeing some of you guys may be thinking about getting some work done on your body. Uh, BBL, breast reduction, something of that. Yeah, confirmation. Um, there could also be someone, uh, cancer coming towards you. Somebody who had body work. Uh, this individual is obsessed with your beauty. Uh, so you could have a very nice frame. I feel like this person has a nice body too. They may like shades. Um... This person is going to be shocked when they see you in a bikini if you're feminine energy or when they see you in your lingerie. Um, I feel like they're going to be mesmerized. I do. All right. Tell me more about this connection with Libra and this individual. I feel like they have children. You might have children too. And I feel like you are going to get along with their kids or vice versa. I do feel like the stepdaughter or the stepson is going to really like you. So I see you guys getting closer and you're going to be meeting their children. Or they'll be meeting yours or both. I do see a dark past with this individual. Uh, so for somebody, not all of you, uh, but there could be a situation where there was a, a miscarriage or a termination of a child. I do feel like this person, um, one of their shadow side, well, a couple different things. Um, they can be abusive and possessive and they can also put you on the back burner at times. Um, they may put their friends before you and I don't know just not prioritize you and I'm seeing manipulation here so those are definitely some concerns I also feel like this person may spent may have spent some time in prison so what is the reason why this person is wanting to stay connected to Libra what is the reason that they want to stay connected to Libra so I feel like this person is not close with their parents. Um, they're not close with their mom and their dad. And I feel like um, you give this person a very nurturing energy. It could even be the way that you nurture your children. This person feels safe with you. And it's like they feel like you eventually they're going to feel like you're the closest person that they have to them. And then that's going to make them even more attached to you. I see a custody battle here. So if you have kids with a cancer, this person could try to be very manipulative. And their parents may be in on this, like um, on trying to, I don't know, take the kids. I'm getting a custody battle here. And it could be because of a new lover, a new potential suitor, suitor here um, that's very attractive you know, or, you know, this is you. It's like this new person intimidates um, somebody's child's father or something. Yeah, somebody's baby dad. You can have two, between two and four children with this individual. Or this is the person that you're dealing with. we got for my Libras oh new love is here yeah I know you're meeting somebody new and if you have kids with someone they're gonna have a a problem with it like they're gonna have a problem with this it's like I do feel like it will get to the point in this new connection where somebody's gonna want marriage the other person will not 
but I do see you guys eventually living together or this person is just going to come over every day. I feel like this person is going to be good to your children, but then you also have a child with someone else for some of you guys or this person does. And they're kind of going to feel a type of way. That's why I see a custody battle here. But I feel like this new person is a... Um, for the most part, they're a good person. They could be a very good father too. They just do have a dark side to them where they may not prioritize you or they could become unsafe if they are triggered. Hmm. Tell me about what triggers this person, spirit. What is it that triggers this individual that my Libras need to be aware of? Because I see something's hidden. So there's a dark side um, to this individual. Alright, so what is it that triggers this individual? 11-11. They don't like... Um, like, they don't want you to be open to any type of new offers, even if they haven't made this full-blown commitment to you. Like, this triggers them. It's like, even if they haven't committed to you, they would literally be triggered if you started talking to people. Specifically a Virgo for somebody that I'm channeling for, so I don't know if this Virgo is your ex or something. They would also be triggered if you made a decision to hide something from them. What else triggers this individual? What is it that we're not aware of? Yeah, sneaky behavior with the Seven of Swords. Sneaky, lying, cheating, uh, manipulative behavior. Also, if you were to reconnect with somebody from your past... Specifically, somebody you have children with, that would trigger this new person. Okay, so Spirit, tell me what this new individual wants out of Libra. What do they want out of Libra? It could be a Sagittarius for some of you guys. They don't want you to reject them. That would cause them an imbalance. This person feels a type of way about rejection as well. What is it that they truly desire from Libra? Alright, so I don't trust this new person. Even though I can, I can see that they're good with the kids and things like that. I feel like this. For a lot of you guys, this person don't have no stability. And it's like they want to like move in. And I feel like that's doing too much right now. This is this could be in the beginning of this uh, relationship. And I feel like this person either lost their job or they don't have a lot of finances right now. So they're not really going to be helping. So what is the point? Like what? Yeah, um, this person materialistic. You can have a nice house, nice car, live in a nice area. You just are somebody that has your things in order. And this person does not have their stability in order. So it's like, yeah, they do nice things for you. You know, they may cook for you and stuff like that. But it's like, they have to bring something else to the table. Um, they need to. And it's like they're not discussing what their real situation is when it comes to their stability. And then some of you guys are going to get burnt out by just noticing that this person's not really investing much. But they're there. Yeah, you're going to get clarity in regards to this. This person could also be materialistic but don't have much to offer. So it's a weird combination going on with this new individual, guys. And I'm seeing just this non-committal vibe. So it's like giving me the energy of 
somebody that's there, you know, like they want to invest in you, but they're not really bringing any money to the table. They're not bringing a solid commitment where they're matching your energy fully to the table. And then they're not stable. So it's like really falling back on you. Um, so this is definitely the energy that I'm picking up that is coming towards your way. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get some spirit messages for you guys. But I would definitely be aware um, of that energy. Angel number 1555. Love. Potential. Yeah, so it's like this person has a lot of potential. They just got some work to do. Everybody has work to do right um this is a never-ending process um so i do feel like you are going to have very strong end of, uh, in, uh, feelings for this individual and you're gonna see a lot of potential um you're gonna like the power because i feel like this person has a powerful presence and a lot of passion all right, tell me what we need to know for my Libras to close this readout, Spirit. What do we need to know to close this readout? So you're dealing with somebody that has a hard time adapting, adapting to change. And they could definitely be uh, pretty rebellious, um, this new individual. So make sure that you are, I don't know, it's just, you know, I don't, I, I cannot say that I fully trust this individual. I'm not saying that they would do something like harm your kids, but I, I do see that they will use you for stability. And I see that th you're not the first or probably even the last person that they've done that with. So there's just some things that this person needs to work on. And they also need to be upfront and honest about their situation. Definitely what I'm seeing is that this is a, a situation where it's like you guys are really growing strong feelings for each other. You know, you could be an all natural woman. This person loves that about you. They feel like you're so real, so authentic, and they love the connection that you guys have. But they also feel like there's communication issues, or you do, you know, because you may find out at a later time frame that something was hidden when you feel like this person could have just been upfront about what their intentions were. I feel like you are the type of lady, if you're a lady, to cater to your man. Um, this person loves that about you. Um, you know, you can come off as submissive when you want to. Um, but I feel like you feel like there's a challenge uh, with this person. And it could be because, I don't know, like, they could, 
you you may be expecting a commitment within a certain amount of time frame just based on the way that the connection is going especially if they live with you but it's like this person could just be challenging you with that aspect of things but then they also don't want you to keep your options open and they want to move in and all that stuff so it's like i don't know You got the fourth chakra, heart chakra, heart chakra, acceptance of self. It's time to rejuvenate myself by giving myself love. I accept myself the way that I am, and I remind myself that I cannot feel any better about life than how I feel about myself. I will not wait a moment longer to accept myself. I honor what my body is asking for, and if I am unsure, I will ask myself, what can I do to be healthier and more balanced than I am now? I dwell upon all that is right in my life, not what is wrong, and I have gratitude. I accept my life as it is now, and I move forward from here. All right. So those are the messages that I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you like this reading, if it resonates with your story, please leave me a comment, like the video, show some love, join the family, and I will talk to you guys soon. Much love and light. Peace.